What's going on everybody? Robinson here. Just want to give you a quick update. I know it's been a while. Let me show you. Arm is starting to get sized back. Um, this is a long overdue update on my bicep tendon. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what the, um, the protocol has been. I stopped doing rehab probably about two months ago. Um, there was no point of continuing any further. Um, there was nothing they could really do for me, so the doctor had instructed me um, at our last visit to lift nothing more than 30 pounds with my arm, which I have abided by. He gave me full approval for things like bodyweight push-ups and, and whatnot. Um, so I've been doing my own, I mean, trying to use time under tension techniques and things like that where I'm either doing, you know, everything was dumbbell work because I want to make sure that both sides stay even. Um, with curls and triceps and uh, any sort of um, bench pressing, things like that. Uh, even any sort of uh, row or lat pull down. I've been doing a lot of single arm stuff to keep myself um, as even, you know, strong on both sides. And the good thing is I don't feel like I've lost a lot of size amazingly. And during this entire process, uh, I think I've maybe gained three or four pounds since the surgery. So by following my macros and staying on point, doing no extra cardio, only doing two leg sessions a week and some light upper body twice a week. I've managed to maintain a pretty solid body weight. Um, and I did manage uh, just about a week ago to do some heavy incline pressing uh, where I had somebody sit a dumbbell on my left leg um, so I could just flip it back so I didn't have to curl it. And I got up to 100 pound dumbbells for about five reps. Considering I have not been able to really you know, train at the veracity that I'm used to, my strength has come back pretty quick. And overall, the size of my arm isn't too shabby. I mean, I can see it, um, but a lot of people don't notice it right away anymore. Um, I haven't measured the arms to see how it looks uh, in terms of actual physical measurement. But what I do notice is I still have good shape in this arm. My shoulder has bounced back pretty quick. Um, there's a little bit of a size differential, but the main thing is just the overall fullness of the arm. Um, you know, like that, that pop that I have in the right arm here that I don't have as much here. Um, just because I haven't been able to use the arm in the same capacity. Um, so it's going to take a little bit more time to, to get it back. But overall, I mean, it, it's been rough for the past six months. And like I've said before, there are worse things in life. But i um, just been trying to keep my sanity, keep myself involved in other things. I have brought on a lot more training clients, which is good. So I have started to build that side, uh, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. So having the downtime has given me a lot more time to prospect and I have to thank some of my clients for giving me such high praise and tagging me all over Instagram and referring more people to me. Um, so I am slowly starting to ramp up more and more and more. My name is starting to get out there for online coaching, prep coaching, uh, just generic fat loss, weight loss, body recomp, stuff like that. Um, but at the same time, I love to train. So, you know, um, it's kind of been like different for me not to have that kind of iron therapy as much as I'm used to. Um, you know, people have been supporting me along the way. I truly appreciate that. Um, you know, your words of encouragement and your faith in me has, has helped me kind of stay sane. Um, but at the same time, you know, I've, I've had some ups and downs. I've had some moments where I've gotten in my own head. I've had a little, you know, some depression, um, some anxiety because I do put a lot of pressure on myself of what I expect uh, of myself, my performance level, my physique, um, not for social media purposes or impressing anyone. Uh, it's just, it's how I am, it's how I'm built. Like, um, I just wanna be the best I can and obviously any sort of injury, especially one as major as this, kinda sets you back quite a while. Um, and every minute kinda counts. So it's kind of like being patient enough to listen to the doctor and the physical therapist and listen to what my body's telling me and just taking it in baby steps um, to let myself heal properly so that I can fully resume uh, my training and, and really progress my physique. Uh, because my goal is here probably in the next three or four years, you know, I, I do have a goal in mind. I don't want to reveal it on camera yet until I commit to it um, of what the next I guess the next version or next uh, step for me is a natural bodybuilding, um, where I want to go, what I see myself doing, um, how competitive, like, just where I stack up in the natural bodybuilding world. And in the next three or four years, I, I think I could really get there as long as I can 
get past this injury and get to training and stay relatively healthy throughout. So, um, I do apologize. I'm not, like I always tell you, follow me on Instagram because I put constant updates there. But, um, you know, anything back related has been kind of difficult, so there hasn't been any deadlifting. Um, but I have been doing some rows and, and cable work with lat pull downs, things like that. But everything's been maybe 30 to 50 pounds total slow and controlled, really contracting the lats, holding them there, high volume type stuff because that's all I can do um, because of what the limitations are that the, uh, the surgeon had put on me. Uh, and then I've been using a lot of this downtime to just you know, work on my hip mobility and my squat more than anything. Uh, I have started back squatting again maybe about five weeks ago and as of yesterday, I worked my way up to all, all the way to a 365 pound squat um, nice and smooth. I did it twice for you know two singles. Uh, I know it's not like you know ridiculous weight, but considering I haven't been back squatting and I only got back into it maybe in a little over a month ago, um, everything feels solid. I've got my form more down. I feel like I'm sinking deeper into my squats. I feel more even, um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the work that I've been doing with safety bar squats, modifying my form, you know, low, you know, lowering the weight a little bit but also slowing down the motion, trying to, to widen my stance, just tweaking some things um, that really seem, after all this time for the past six months, to pay off. And I'm gonna continue working on those things as time goes on. And I can really thank my, my training partner, Jesse, for that, because uh, he's kind of you know broken me down from the ground up and rebuilt me uh, in terms of some of the things that I was doing mechanically that we just said, ah, what the hell, and just tweaked it, and it seems to be working better for me. Uh, I still have forward pitch, but nowhere near as bad. I don't feel like I'm doing a good morning every time I'm getting out of the bottom of the squat anymore. Uh, my quads feel like they're getting more activated. My glutes and my hamstrings are firing better. I just feel more solid overall. Um, and for him keeping me sane, because literally I tore my bicep. His first text was me, like, dude, sorry to hear that. Are you all right? Followed by, see you Saturday, train legs. Uh, <laughs> he didn't hesitate one second to get my ass back in the gym. So that's kind of helped, especially every Saturday of, of training with him with some intensity. Um, now that I've kind of brushed you guys all up, time to go see the surgeon, and next will be the update as to where we're going from here. I'm hoping full green light, because I've kind of been on the yellow light for a long time. Alright, so here we go. Woo! Full clearance. Thank you. My God. So I just got out of the surgeon's office. He tested my supination, pronation, resistance strength, dug his finger into the tendon. Um, looks like it all checks out. Uh, now, obviously, I can't go back tomorrow and try to curl a 60-pound dumbbell and, and be stupid. But I can start to slowly bring my arm through progression um, and resume full training. So that means I can get back to my chest workouts, my back workouts, pull-ups, all of it. Um, so here we go, guys. I mean, thank <laughs> just shy of the six-month mark, uh, I'm back in action. I just got to be careful and intelligent, same as I would progress at any point through my lifting uh, when I was fully healthy. So... Oh, the comeback can begin. So starting Monday, we're going to start doing some upper body and really starting to progress. The only thing I need to do is get maybe like a little bit of an elbow sleeve just because of the, uh, the tendonitis issue, but I'm fully cleared to resume training and start getting back to normal. So life is good. All right, guys. Sorry for like the slacking and all this, but I didn't want to bore you just sitting around basically doing nothing because that's pretty close to what I was doing for six months. Um, besides training legs, there wasn't much upper body or anything going on as much of me kind of like twiddling my thumbs. So, we're back! Yes! Now let's stay healthy! <laughs> Alright guys, later.